Sabaha so, everybody and welcome back to the channel and I want to ask you a question. Do you have a PC that has slowed down since you first purchased it? It hasn't run the same way that it ran before. Well, today I'm going to share with you guys a couple of tricks that will help you speed up that PC and get back that little oomph inside of it without having to replace the entire PC. So we're going to take a look at my mom's old nine-year-old laptop and we're going to upgrade a couple of things in there that will give us a nice little boost. This is TK, let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the laptop. This is a Toshiba satellite laptop. This is my mom's laptop from about nine years ago now. It's a Toshiba satellite L305. So if you've heard of this model, then you probably know how old this is. It looks pretty good because my mom actually keeps things really, really nice and clean. First thing, it's running Windows Vista um, and it is an Intel Pentium, uh, an Intel Pentium processor, 33400, two gigs of RAM, 16 gig, 160 gig hard drive, and 15.4 uh, diagonal. This is just the screen. The main thing we're gonna look at here really is the hard drive and the RAM. We're gonna be upgrading the hard drive to use this Blitzwolf. This is a 120 gig hard drive. It's an SSD hard drive, SATA 3 smart support, as well as uh, NTQ and trim support and wear level on it, it's supporting it. So it's for endurance, stability, and super speed. Again, as I mentioned, it's 120 gigabyte. The model number is BW-D1. You could use any SATA hard drive. I'm just using this because this was sent to me for review. It is a 2.5 inch SATA 3 up to six gigabyte support, and I'll give you guys a link in the description below. The other thing we're gonna also try to do here is upgrading the RAM on this system. I'm gonna be using an additional chip here on the system. If I remember correctly, we should only have a one DIMM and we'll be able to add this additional one to double the RAM. We're gonna go ahead and test out the initial boot. Uh, I'm gonna, whoops, let's go ahead and unlock the phone. We're going to boot up the device and the first thing we're going to do is just want to see how long does it take to boot up in the current setup. This is basically what I'm getting the complaint on from my mom is she's saying that the laptop is taking forever to boot up. So we're going to go ahead and push the power button at the same time and push the start. Okay, I can hear the fans picking up. I'm sure you guys can hear them too. I'm going to let it boot up all the way till uh, the login screen. Okay, so that was about a minute and 14 seconds, a minute and minute and 15 seconds. And that took us directly all the way up to the login screen. Now that's essentially what I wanted to measure. We have a minute and 15 seconds. So let's go ahead and shut down the PC. Flipping it over on the back, we'll notice there's a few compartments most laptops will have. Uh, the one thing you wanna keep in mind is obviously depending on where things are. Generally, the smaller compartment will be for your memory, and the slightly bigger one that looks kind of like about the size of a small hard drive is usually where your hard drive is, and then this will be the battery. Different setups will be different. Getting access to the back of your specific computer, I would recommend you looking it up online. Uh, what I'm gonna do first and foremost is I'm gonna uninstall, I'm gonna remove the hard drive that I have in here. I'm using a, just a small, tiny hard drive uh, screwdriver. It's small, just to kind of make things simple. And here it is, we open up the drive gives us access to the hard drive. It does have already a removal tool. So the main changes that we're gonna do here essentially is we're gonna go from this spinning 160 gig hard drive, 5400 RPM Toshiba hard drive that came built into this unit. We're gonna be uh, connecting or transferring the data over to the Blitzwolf SSD. Now, the way you would do this is, uh, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but the way I did it is I installed a Cronus uh, disk imaging software. You can use any open source or any free licensed software. I just happen to like the software. I installed it on this system and I used the imaging clone hard drive option to clone this hard drive to this PC. And what I did with this is I connected it using an external enclosure. It's a USB 3.0 enclosure that I was able to put this hard drive in, connected it via USB, and then let it run. It did take about a couple of two to three hours for it to complete as this is not the fastest connecting hard drive system. It doesn't even have USB 3.0. So just keep that in mind. And once you're done, you can replace this hard drive directly in here and then you'll be able to boot it up and get the performance bump. Just make sure you get the shell when you're done with everything to make sure that it works. So we're gonna go ahead and put in the SSD and we're gonna be comparing it real quick and see how the boot up time is improved by just swapping between the two. Now, if we were gonna upgrade the, the, the RAM on the system, and I say this because if, because um, most systems will have a certain limitation of how much RAM you can use. This system itself has a nine year old hard uh, system, so I'm not sure how much RAM it can handle. It already has two DIMM slots in here, so if I'm gonna upgrade the RAM here, I need to match them. Either I go to two DIMMs of, four, uh, of two gigs each, which will give me the maximum of four, which will be the limit of this system, or I can go with uh, one two gig and leave the other one empty. But you cannot put two mismatched. You can't put a three and a two. The system sometimes doesn't like that as far as the compatibility. And of course, 
if you're going to change them, make sure that you're changing all of them to be the same brand, the same manufacturer, and the same speed. The last number we had was a minute 15 seconds. We're going to say reset, and we're going to do it at the same time. Now, it stopped about 40 seconds. You'll notice that we went from a minute and 15 seconds to about 40 seconds worth of time. This is just an initial boot up. Accessing applications and running applications on your system will run about the same speed. You're gaining that much speed just by booting up on an SSD. That's definitely a big, big bump. And again, if you run more RAM, you'll be able to run more. Uh, if you have more RAM, you'll have more system resources to be able to run these things on your system. Upgrading the hard drive and RAM will give you the ability to boost your system. If you're running on a desktop PC, you can do the same thing. You can replace your, uh, your hard drive by, with an SSD and gives you, that will just give you a, as you guys saw with the video even, just going from a minute and 15 seconds down to 40 seconds, it gets even faster as time goes on. And if you have a much faster operating system, I've seen it as fast as going about 15 to 20 seconds on boot up on my main laptop. This is my mom's nine year old laptop. So we did even, even at that point, we gave it a lot of performance boost that she'll notice right out of the box. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you guys is upgrading the RAM is going to be limited to operating system slash system um, well system allowance, and I say that based on the fact that if you're running a 32 gig or 32 bit processing system, um, you're going to be limited to four gigs of RAM. If you're going to be running a 64 bit system, you can go as far as 16 gigabytes. I don't think anything more than 16 will help you unless you're running some type of a massive server. But at that point, you're not running a you know normal consumer based hardware. But the other factor is that sometimes your system will only allow you to install so much RAM. Um, and of course, make sure that the RAM matches. Uh, last but not least, uh, this is actually used as a trick in the new laptops that you see on the market. They use these things called the mSATA, which essentially is a small form factor SATA hard drive in front of a spinning hard drive to give you that fast boot up and shutdown. And then what they do is they're still using a spinning hard drive in the background to be able to store your data. So you can definitely do this on your own if your system allows it. But if you bought a budget laptop or you bought something that you know maybe you wanted to save a little bit of money on the laptop when you were buying it, and it came with just the spinning hard drive, Upgrading it to this uh, Blitzwolf hard drive or any other SSD will definitely give you a much, much better and uh, appreciated boost in performance. I want to say thanks for Banggood for sending me this uh, Blitzwolf hard drive to check out. I want to give you guys a link, of course, in the description below if you'd like to pick one up. Uh, very inexpensive and nice price and again, just a much better performance. And my mom's going to be very happy with the new SSD that I put into her system. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you used this trick before? Obviously, this is not brand new, but I wanted to share with you guys my experience as I was going through and upgrading this PC to give it a little bit more life. And I think the next video I'm going to be doing is installing Remix OS on this PC as I'd love to be able to show you guys the process on how to get Remix OS on an x86 hard setup hardware. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.